taken advantage of the uh, fire that we've lit to warm the kiln to cook our supper on the night before the firing. And next morning, packing the kiln. So starting off in the bottom with some head pots, then some colanders and some cheese presses, small pots that are going to be used for experimental archaeology, and a central stack of some cylindrical jars that are going to be salt pots. Then the fire's lit while the capping's put over the top of the thing just to warm it up, get it going. And then over the next few hours, lots of stoking and raking, bringing the temperature steadily up, slowly at first so as not to crack any of the pots. And then later on, building up the temperature, revving it up to get it up to about 900 degrees in the end. How's it going, Sarah? Oh yeah, so it is. Right, Sarah's giving this probably one last stoke here. Heavily stoking. We are currently at... Whoa, 910 degrees. And... The inside of the kiln looks like that. 